Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I'm at the shore right now and I will be doing an open sea range test. So right now the drone is in the air and we still have 90% of battery. And uh, 32 satellites is locked and the uh, signal is at full, uh, full bars. So I will rotate the drone and we'll head to the uh, sea. So the sky is clear and the wind is uh, okay. So actually it's very calm right now guys. And uh, the height is 4.6 meters above sea level and we are now approaching to the open sea. So we have 88% of battery and slowly we are ascending as we uh, go and push through. Our Drone speed is uh, 10 meters per second. Right now we are in uh, 20 meters, 23 meters above sea level. So this range test guys is very risky. Because um, if anything happens, unexpected uh, uh, situation happens, I will uh, lose my drone. So as you can see guys, um, there are few videos in YouTube uh, doing this kind of range test because it's very risky. So I will, will now use the compass as a uh, navigation tool. So right now the height of the drone is 51 meters above sea level. And we are halfway 1 kilometers already and we have a uh, full bar signal and 83% left in the battery. You can see guys there's no land so it is very risky any miscalculation will result your drone will be uh, diving in the sea and you will definitely lose it unlike uh, when you do a range test in land there's a possibility you can still recover the drone if anything happens but in the sea if anything happens in the uh, sea you will definitely lose the drone so you will not recover it anymore so right now we are one kilometers from the home point and still 51 meters above sea level so, so let's see how far it will go but uh, actually um, I will not push to the extreme guys because uh, any miscalculation will result in a disaster <laughs> So, so right now uh, we are in top speed at normal mode which is uh, 10 meters per second and our signal is beginning to drop but still okay so right now there's uh, still 78% uh, left in the battery and uh, we uh, descend to 24 meters up above sea level and we are now approaching to 2 kilometers and still we still have uh, 21 minutes before the battery is completely drained so if, if you do a range test in an open sea you must consider 4 factors guys first is the wind direction and the strength which is very important guys because it will uh, lessen the battery life because the drone will uh, fighting the the air so it will consume more battery <coughs> next is uh, um, the uh, battery life so you should consider uh, the battery and the next is the uh, signal so you should consider the signal, the strength of the signal, because any disconnection will, uh, let's say, uh, um, will eat more time. So it will lessen the uh, time needed for the drone to come back. And lastly, is the distance. You should consider the distance. So that are the f that is the four factors you should consider when doing an open sea range test it's very risky guys it's very risky so right now we still have a 72% left in our battery and uh, 
almost 24 uh, minutes, to, uh, minutes left for our battery to completely drain. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm, uh, I still have a cup right now. So we still have 32%, uh, 32 uh, satellites still locked on on our drone. And we are now approaching uh, 3 kilometers. So as you can see guys, there is no land. It's an open sea. So, uh, but as you can see guys, no, there is no wind resistance because the drone is flying at full speed. 10 meters per second at normal mode. That is the, that is the top speed of the uh, normal mode of the drone. So no need to, uh, to shift to sport mode because uh, there is no wind resistance and I think the battery is uh, very sufficient for now <laughs> and as you can see guys the signal is beginning to drop uh, and now we are 3.2 kilometers from the home point and uh, we descend to 24 meters guys as you can see guys so we still okay uh. So we regained our signal strength, no? so it uh, uh, changing from uh, 3 bars to 4 bars, still okay guys, no need to panic. So right now guys, the video quality is not in 4K because it is the, uh, it's only a screen recording, it is less than a full HD. So. Uh, because actually there's no um, anything uh, there's no uh, no no oh there's a weak signal uh, alarm but uh, no worries because um, it will uh, begin soon soon so right now we are approaching four kilometers still we are 24 meters above sea level and 20 minutes still before our battery will uh, uh, will be completely drained so the the, uh, the video quality is not uh, HD guys because it's only screen recorder screen recording from the uh, controller so the actual uh, high definition 4k uh, resolution uh, video uh, is in the drone so right now we are we have still uh, we have 62 percent in our battery and 32 satellites still locked on on our drone and right now we are hit the 4 kilometer range guys so now it's still okay guys the signal is still okay guys even though we, we experience an alarm it uh, just uh, regained the strength so no need to panic I think because this is an open sea guys and there is no interference whatsoever that will uh, can that can affect the uh, signal strength so just in case uh, we experience a signal drop it will uh, regain anytime because uh, there's no interference guys so right now we are approaching I think I I will uh, hit 5 kilometers just to make it safe guys uh, for have for me to have uh, enough uh, battery for the uh, return to home so I will just hit uh, 5 kilometers guys to make it safe so right now we still have 57% left in our battery and 19 minutes before our battery will be completely drained so right now the signal is uh, intermittent but still okay so I, we still have uh, four uh, bars. So as you can see, there's a big ship in front. So right now we st we hit the five kilometer range. Okay. So I think it's now time to uh, return back back uh, to the home point. So I think I can still push through. I can still hit six kilometers but to make it safe guys I will just uh, for now I will uh, go back home but still uh, uh, I think six kilometer is hitable so I will now return to home 
just to make it safe because guys uh, actually uh, most uh, I've seen so many videos uh, of drones uh, failing to uh, return home because um, the pilot the drone pilot does not anticipate the wind direction and the strength of the wind so uh, it uh, when the drone uh, let's say uh, encounter a strong wind let's say opposite uh, wind direction um, it, it it will eat uh, battery you know? so um, it will limit the speed of the drone it will eat more battery so uh, does uh, the drone will dive directly to the sea so there is a uh, horrific uh, uh, sight to see guys so right now we are returning to home guys I already initiate the return to home function of the drone so right now we are halfway, halfway or we are 49% uh, still left in our battery and uh, four bars um, in our signal so right now we are 4.5 kilometers away from the home point and uh, we are 43 meters above sea level guys so as you can see guys no uh, as we return home you can see there is no wind resistance because uh, as you can see when we return, uh, right now we are returning home, the uh, drone speed does not change. So it, um, it is uh, still uh, 10 meters per second, which means there is no wind resistance. So I think, uh, we'll, uh, I think the drone will successfully uh, return home right now. And no problems at all. So as you can see guys, we still have uh, 3.9 kilometers no? still uh, 3.9 kilometers away from the uh, uh, launch position so as you can see guys now um, the compass you see uh, the drone the triangle no? it's up, uh, let's say the direction of the uh, drone is in in line with the uh, controller the pilot which is me guys so right now we still have 43% uh, left in our battery and uh, still uh, 3.5 kilometers away from the uh, home point and still 32 uh, GPS satellites still locked on our drone and we have a uh, full bar signal strength so I think um, we can return safely guys so yeah although it's very risky guys it's very uh, risky once you consider all the uh, aspects, all the uh, land, the, let's say beforehand the uh, wind direction, the, uh, the wind strength. So we now exp we are now experiencing a uh, weak signal, but uh, just regain the uh, signal strength back to full bars, four bars, and uh, we still have uh, 11 minutes until the is depleted now we are still have eight, eight minutes until first landing so enough time guys to do the auto return to home function and now we can see the uh, shore guys we are now still uh, 2.8 kilometers away from the home point and we have 38 uh, percent battery light uh, battery and 10 minutes until the battery completely drained so, yeah, guys. I think guys uh, if I can if I if, if I want to push uh, for six kilometers I can hit six kilometers just to make it safe guys I just hit five kilometers for, for us to have uh, enough battery guys I, uh, I don't take any chances guys because you see as you can see guys this is an open sea guys if anything happens to the drone signal uh, let's say gets weak or the sudden uh, uh, wind change wind uh, direction and the strength of the wind suddenly uh, let's say uh, become a uh, great uh, let's say uh, oh we are now about 
changed this year. So if anything change, uh, let's say happens during our return to home, guys, I will definitely lose my drone. So uh, you should be, uh, let's say, uh, you should calculate, calculate this. Any miscalculation, guys, will result to losing your drone, guys. So we are, we have now a full signal strength, guys, and 33% left in our battery. So I think um, now it's okay, guys. I think uh, and for now I can say, safe to say that uh, we can now safely return to home with enough uh, battery uh, uh, let's say uh, battery life uh, still and 31% right now uh, the forced landing maybe at 5 minutes before a uh, forced landing so I'm uh, seven minutes until battery is completely depleted. So I think uh, maybe uh, when we hit the uh, shore, I think the uh, battery life will be maybe at 20, 20 percent, still enough. Guys. So I think the six kilometer is hit about guys. We can uh, we can attain six kilometers, but just to make it safe, guys, just to make it safe, because this is an open sea, guys. It's very risky so we should have an enough uh, um, clearance or enough uh, let's say uh, enough uh, uh, leeway if anything uh, uh, if anything happens to the drones we still have uh, let's say uh, uh, enough uh, battery life so as you can see guys it's uh, four minutes until first landing and uh, we are now less than one kilometers away from the home point and still 43 meters above sea level as you can now see guys we are now slowly approaching to the uh, shore yes. and we still have 25 percent left in our battery and 32 gps satellites still locked on in our drone So slowly, slowly we are now approaching less than five meet, uh, 500 meters guys so we are now slowly uh, uh, so right now we are now 300 meters away from the home point we are now slowly descending slowly descending guys I will uh, take over the uh, controls and we are now slowly descending guys so we are now 200 meters away from the shoreline so slowly descending guys I will slowly descend slowly descend so let's now it's 100 meters away from the shoreline as you can see that's me so yeah, we have a successful open sea range test guys so thank you for watching guys and see you in our next um, video upload regarding this fantastic uh, drone which is the uh, Mini 3 Pro from DJI. Thank you for watching guys and see you in our next upload. So bye bye guys. Thank you.